He'd visited bondage websites, gone to gay bars and bought tickets to drag shows. Police have revealed new details about the intensely private life of MI6 spy Gareth Williams, who was found dead in his London flat in August. Officers leading the investigation said that they hoped the information would help explain what happened to Mr Williams, whose naked body was discovered tied up and locked inside a bag. And in another twist, they said someone else must have helped to put him there. Our Home Affairs correspondent Andy Davis has this report. Detectives from the Metropolitan Police's Homicide and Serious Crime Squad are now certain that Gareth Williams, the 31-year-old intelligence officer originally from North Wales, was not alone at the time of his still unexplained death. His naked body was found in a fastened red holdall in an empty bath in his flat in southwest London four months ago. And today, the police issued these e-fit images in a further attempt to trace a man and a woman, both in their 20s, and both described as having a Mediterranean appearance, who, it's believed, visited his flat this summer. They gained access to the communal hallway and they, they intimated that they had a key to the flat and it suggested that they had been given the key by a man called Pierre Paolo. So obviously I'm really keen to trace this couple whose pictures that we've released today, anyone that knows them, and obviously Pierre Paolo. The cause of death is still undetermined. There was no evidence of drugs, alcohol or poisons in his body. But a police advisor has concluded that in August the temperature in that holdall would have risen to 30 degrees in three minutes and that Gareth Williams would have suffocated within half an hour. The police said today that they had found some bruises on Mr Williams' elbows but it wasn't clear how old those bruises were, they said, and there was still no evidence to suggest that he had tried to get out of the bag. But perhaps... The most striking piece of information disclosed today involved the padlock which had been used to fasten the zip on the bag. The police believe that someone else must have shot that padlock on the bag. And yet the keys to unlock it, they revealed today, were found not outside the bag, but inside the bag under Mr Williams's body. The police have never called this a murder inquiry, reiterating that there were no signs of disturbance in the flat, no evidence that the bag was dragged to the bath. There is no evidence, they say, that he was suicidal. We now know that it's not possible for him to have locked himself in the bag or indeed have unlocked himself from within it. So we, we strongly believe someone else or some other people were involved, uh, were there when he died, and so I'm urging them to come forward and help us understand what happened. So the focus appears to be shifting increasingly towards the private life of a man whose remarkable mathematical mind saw him graduate, it's understood, from university at the age of just 17. The police disclosed today that he had taken a fashion course at this London college and that £15,000 worth of women's clothing seemingly unused, as well as a collection of wigs, were found in his flat. He was on secondment to MI6, whose headquarters are just across the road from this South London gay club, where we learned today he was seen on a few occasions. We understand that the police have looked at the CCTV footage from here in the days before his death, but have found no trace of him. The police revealed also that an analysis of his phone and computer showed that he'd visited these websites relating to bondage, but there's no evidence they said that he was obsessed by it, no evidence that he was in a gay relationship, no evidence that he was in any relationship at all, they said. The personal life of Gareth Williams was almost as private, it seems, as his professional life, and the police remain as eager as ever to speak to anyone who even momentarily shared in it.